I won't be apologising for the absolute condition of my head this morning because how I look is completely representative of how I actually feel. I needed to get petrol this morning for my car and I decided to go to the petrol station down by, by McDonald's to get myself and Charlie a uh, McDonald's breakfast before she went to school. As a nasty, not as a treat. And on the drive around, there was a person um, lying at the back of McDonald's on some carpet surrounded by bags. So I slowed down. I have a huge affinity for homeless people. I, I've always helped homeless people, even as a kid. When I lived in Dublin before I had children, I used to meet homeless people on Grafton Street for lunch and I'd take them to McDonald's, actually. Um, so I noticed it was a woman. And I just observed her for a moment and, and drove around. And then... Somebody ringing there, so sorry. Um, asked the people in McDonald's, did they know that there was a lady at the back of their premises? And, and the, the chap said... Yeah, she's kind of there all the time. So we ordered our food, we paid for our petrol and I drove back around to her again and I asked her, was she hungry? I don't give homeless people money. I did work in Brazil years ago on the street, on the st with street kids and the first thing that Troker told us is if you give a homeless person money, it actually keeps them, whoever this is, is dying to get me. Um, <clears throat> if you give money to homeless people, it actually keeps them on the streets for longer. So that was the first thing that Trokery taught me. So I don't give homeless people money, but I'll buy them food and I'll buy them the things that they need, coats and shit like that. So I went back around and asked the lady, was she hungry? And she said, no, I'm not hungry. I have food here. And I asked her, was she cold? And did she need tea? And she said, no, I have drinks here. So I started talking to her and she said she has five children that are with, um, what was the word she used, Charlie, a guardian, which I presume her children are in care now. And she said that she's in pain. She's missing some teeth and she said that she was in pain and obviously I can't give her fucking pain relief. Um, And um, she was struggling. She has a crutch and she was finding it hard to get up off the ground. And I was so upset. I couldn't even, I, did, I forgot to even ask her where she was from. But I got her name. Her name is Petron, Petronella Turku. I'm not even sure if I spelt it right because she wasn't even, she was just sounding it out. And I showed it to her and she said it was correct. So, like... We're, we're heading into a really, really cold period now. She was wearing a burqa. I don't know where she's from. I will find out where she's from. But, like, why? First of all, homelessness has lots of different levels in this country, right? There's people who actually choose to be homeless. I get that. However, I don't think when she came here, she chose to be a homeless person without her five children. And I know that every case is different. And that... There could be circumstances there that, you know, are underlying and I don't understand them. But I can't, I can't have this <sighs> on the streets where I live. It's just ridiculous. So, <sighs> sorry lads. I'm calling on Stephen McKee, Sharon Tolan, Sharon Keoghan, Wayne Ford, Jed Nash, Fergus O'Dowd, and Peter Fitzpatrick to find out who that lady is and find out why she doesn't have her five children with her and find out why in your constituency, that she's sleeping on carpet at the back of McDonald's in Drogheda. It's ridiculous. And I can't have this. And I need us all to get behind me to try and sort this out. Because in this day and age, lads, I mean, come on. It's too much. 
and it's this is like we're not a developing country we're not a developing country we work in developing countries i went to work in a developing country and then you come home and it's here i can't have it lads we need to do something anybody has who has any advice around how we can help this lady please post in underneath okay good morning